Hi, everybody. Um, I recently uh, purchased a 2021 uh, um, Tesla Model 3 uh, long range. Uh, so I didn't get the performance, but I did like the look of the performance um, accelerator and brake pedal. So I ended up purchasing the Top Fit Performance Pedal Pad. Um, and I watched some videos about how to put them on, etc., uh, in, including the uh, Frugal Tesla, Tesla guy. I love that guy. Um, and while he was putting them on, he showed that, um, you know, he bled during it. And I really was going to try to avoid that. However, putting these on took me about 50 minutes, 5 0, 50 minutes. And um, that, I was going to try to give you the hints that ended up working for me when putting these on. However, I'm not going to take mine off because I don't have another 50 minutes to spend um, on this. But I do have the brake pedal that came off of the, uh, off of the car. And this is the back. And the one that comes in this kit, uh, the brake pedal. Uh, so first off, you have to take this brake pedal off. Um, with the accelerator, you're, there's nothing to take off. You're going to put the, um, the performance pedal right over the, the uh, accelerator that's there. Uh, but with the brake pedal, um, this is what's on there if you have the uh, long range or the uh, standard plus so basically this was pretty easy to take off I just kind of peeled back the rubber um, and pulled that off putting the new one back on what worked the best is I did put the new pedals I did put these two pedals in Ziploc bags and inside a bowl with uh, hot water. Uh, I left them in there for a while, and while I was working on the brake pedal, I left the accelerator still in there. Um, and that just, I guess, you know, softened up the uh, rubber uh, a little bit and helped, helped it along. Um, then, when putting this on, when putting this on, Um, I ended up putting on the top ridge first. So I kind of went down and I put that top edge first. And then I reached underneath and I pulled back both the bottom edge and a little bit of each side edge. So with two hands, I like pulled down with my pinkies on the bottom and I pulled out with the side again after the top edge was locked into place and then I pushed that on until I got the bottom edge down and uh, around the metal and then I just had these sides and I had at least one side started and then I basically just walked that side up prying as I went until it snapped into place so again, I got that top ridge hooked in first. Then I took my fingers on each side, and I'm sorry, it's going fuzzy on me here. Um, and I lifted the bottom edge and a little bit of the side edge, and I forced it down until I could get that bottom edge locked into place and a little bit of that side edge. And then I walked up each side getting the plastic or the rubber around it. I did use my phone to take some pictures from the back and to see that I've got it all the way around. It was this accelerator that was the fun one. Um, the accelerator, and again, I'm sorry I'm not going to pull that back, uh, but I will insert some photos. Um, the accelerator has some grooves in the side, uh, on, the, on each side. What I ended up doing, let's just pretend this is the accelerator, and it had the 
um, the grooves in the side. There's some grooves kind of high up on the accelerator pedal. And what I ended up doing is getting those grooves started at the bottom of the metal. So I, I worked that in at the bottom of the accelerator pad and then I slid the pedal all the way up to the top. And when I did that, I had the bottom ridge completely in, I had the side ridges completely in, I just had this top piece um, part to do. And on the top part, there's no actual top that needs to get around the pedal. And you'll see that in some of the video and in some of the photos I'll post here. All I had was above these two little ridges on the side at the top that I had to work. And that I used a uh, flathead screwdriver and I went in from the top and I pulled that apart and I actually wiggled the pedal back and forth. I could kind of pull it to one direction and then kind of snap that side and then pull it as hard as I could on the other direction and snap that other side. And then again, I used uh, my phone to verify that I had these in correctly. I think they look great. Uh, it did take me a long time. Like I said, 50 minutes. Um, I didn't bleed, um, but I was very frustrated by, by the process. Um, wanted to give you what ended up working for me um, so that hopefully uh, your process will go uh, better. Uh, thanks. Um, let me know if you want to uh, if you want a referral code. I, uh, I'll, I'll definitely link this in the uh, description and um, enjoy your Model 3 um, like I am.